Good day. Welcome. I hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Thanks for clicking on it. Let's find some more out about the Vatican and the Jesuits. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society, for we, as people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret proceedings and secret oaths. For we are opposed around the world to a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covert means for expanding the sphere of influence on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, of intimidation instead of free choice, and on guerrillas by the night instead of armies by day. It is a system that which has conspired vast human and material resources into building a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried and not headlined. The dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned. No rumour is printed. No secret is revealed. J.F. Kennedy. Secret Society speech on 27th of April 1961 and murdered on the 22nd of November 1963. Induction. The Jesuit order is almost 500 year old covert operations, geopolitical, male only organization, structured as a secret military operation, demanding secret oaths, complete obedience to each direct superior, which is ultimately the superior general op often nicknamed as the Black Pope since he dresses in black and stands in the shadow of what the White Pope. The Society of Jesus, as they are officially known, was originally used by the Vatican to counter the various Reformation movements in Europe, to which Vatican lost most of its religious and political power. Absolute temporal ruling power has always been the Vatican's institute primary objective. The Jesuit order since 1814 in complete control of obscene, wealthy Vatican Institute and its Catholic Catholic hierarchy, and presently also controls various other organizations together with the military order of Malta, such as the United Nations, NATO, the European Commission, Council on Foreign Relations, various central banks, big corporations, secret service, numerous societies and cults such as Freemasonry, the Blood Brotherhood, Opus Dei, uh, Rosicrucians, all those kinds of groups. It is also important to note that the Jesuit control Vatican is since 1929 being cast or accepted as a sovereign microstate called Vatican City with its own head of state and cabinet, see Holy See, which consists of a papal non hierarchical monarchy and also the Cura, Central Bank, Vatican Bank, jurisdiction rules, canon law, admiratory law, some 147 international agreement, diplomatic treaties, which are formally called concordates or Latin treaties, which grant the Vatican special national privileges. Some large radical underground network of secret archives are estimated at 84 kilometres of shelving space and a large collection of ancient works in the Vatican museums. Universal Inquis Inquisition Office, headed by the American William Levita since 2000, an Italian police force and a Swiss military guard consisting of only Catholic single males with Swiss censorship and Swiss military training. Furthermore, note that the Jesuit order, the Catholic clergy, and military order of Malta and many other papal and Roman military orders have an extremely patriarchal culture. This type of rigid solar structure is one of the main aspects of finance cis groups. The Jesuits have no women. They have no love of women because they have a wife. To have a woman means to have allegiance to your wife and family and you cannot obey the general. That's why they will never be married and that's one of the keys of their great success, Eric John Phelps. Today the Jesuits have about 90,000 members. Of, the, of the about 13,500 priest members, some have taken the fourth vow, secret vow, an oath which killing a heretic is not considered a crime. The ranks of the Jesuits are thinning from 36,000 mem members at the Order of Zenith in the mid-1960s to 26,000 in 1983 to 23,000 in 1995. The Jesuits are geographically organised by 91 provinces, 61, each which each belong to one of ten assistants around the world. The military order of Malta has about 12,500 members, excluding volunteers. And Opus Dei has about 26,000 celibate members, excluding volunteers. The Vatican Jesuit Masonic Crusades, up to the present time, show their criminal full-spectrum dominance doctrine is 
effluents all over the world by war, genocide and depopulation. Recent examples, Canadian natives genocided between 1880 and 18, 1984. The Vatican managed Serbian genocide during World War II with its outgoing US court case and ongoing Shia Muslim genocide in Iraq with over 1,217,892 deaths political subversions, economic slavery, poor quality of nutrition, healthcare and housing, government propaganda via education, media, science and religion, suppression of sovereignty, consciousness and spirituality. Masonic cities. The Vatican Jesuit Masonic Network operates mainly out of the following cities. Vatican City, Rome, Italy, Religious Centre, Sovereign State since 1929. City of London, United Kingdom, is the Economic Centre, Sovereign State since 1649, owned by the City of London Corporation. District of Columbia, which includes Washington DC, United States, is the Military Centre. The District of Columbia Act 1871 turned DC into municipal corporation. Congress has the supreme authority over the city and federal district with its own special constitutional amendment since 1961. Furthermore, the District of Columbia is judicially governed by Lex Florae, which as opposed to Lex Cause. There is an increasingly common belief among many that this act is a overturn the United States Constitutional Republic. These theorists state that the US, corporate US, is actually operating under the name the United States of America, noting the capital letters as a distinction from the Constitutional Republic. Jesuit Bishop John Carroll was probably the richest man in America in the late 1700s. Carroll allowed the funding to construct DC, which is nicknamed Rome on Pontimac. The land, the owner of the land used to be Francis Pope and his priest was a Jesuit, Andrew White. Rome, um, it used to also be called Rome, Maryland. Some say that it's the, um, the Seven Hills, what they talk about. Other Masonic entitlements in the city, Jesuit Georgetown University in the Masonic Street layout and monuments and the 2008 World Conference of Masonic Grand Lodges. Other important cities are Geneva, New York, Brussels, Paris, and various microstates, Luxembourg, Strasbourg, Moscow, Hong Kong, Aristocrat, Masonic, Corporate, Political Networks, The Obelisk. They all seem to have an obelisk there. In general, it can be said that the Jesuits are mainly involved in miseducation. This is their main avenue for initial and sustained political control. Through the society historically and scientific flawed education of millions of youngsters and adults, in addition, being able to observe and direct the professional path of the brightest students can help further their own neurotic agenda, or at least not obstruct it. Consciousness influence, aka mind control, through cultural and behavioural consciousness, Terence, shaping is their sacred and secret soul science and their divine science of governing. The matrix of mental control, which has been deployed by a neurotic priesthood and implemented by Masonic networks for thousands of years. Can enough individuals break the magic trance spell to help stop the mass neurosis of humanity, which puts into a world of tragedy and pain? Sciences and university research funding for the purpose of socio-psychological control, subjects, politics, civics, law, military science, Scientology, sociology, media, healthcare, psychiatry, Romanized history, astronomy, pseudo-psychology, about culture, science, civics, ethics, morality and religion. Prominent elite schools, Stonehurst College, UK, 1593, Georgetown University, US, 1634, Fordham University, 1841, Fairfield University, 1942, International Visitor Leadership Program in the US, 1946 to 1961. 1940, Nelson Rockefeller, Knight of Melter, was named coordinator of the Inter-American Affairs, the precursor to the IVLP program. More than 200 and former head, current and former heads of states, 1,500 cabinet level, level ministers and many other distinguished world leaders and government and private sectors have participated in the International Visitor Leadership Program. Religious provisions, perversions and propaganda, cult promotion, 
Catholicism and its various infiltrations, Freemasonry, Satanism, Mystics, New Ageism, UFOlogy, aliens, many used for disinfo and distraction, but sometimes for the cover-up of advanced energy military research. Cult and disinfo promotion is also done using popularized films, books, websites and events related to these topics. Catholic neurism throughout the melatonin Mennonite World Conference, 1925 Switzerland. See also the World Jewish Congress, 1936 Switzerland. See also the World Council of Churches in 1937, 340 churches. Lutheran World Foundation, 1947, 140 churches. Conference of the European Churches, 1959, 125 churches. Meetings, World Alliance of the Reformed Churches, 1970, 240 14 churches, World Methodist Council, 1881. Political and judicial meddling tactics. The Hegelian dialectic deception politics by creating, infiltrating, controlling multiple sides to further their own agenda. Thesis and antithesis synthesis. Some examples, the left versus right political dogma, Democrats versus Republicans, Liberals versus Conservatives, Labour versus the Tories. This is the political duopoly trap where voting outcome can only swing in two, two main directions. Any emerging or true political opposition is defeated and extinguished by temporary controlled opposition spin-off for the main parties and media blackouts and or smear campaigns. The present focus for many media corporations on the Muslim threats, especially after the mass trauma psyops of 911, is part of their strategy of tension to divide groups by fear and polarize people's frustration and anger towards this sympathized enemy or its controlled opposition. Instead of the real fantastic threat from the secret of power structures, such as the artificial global food price crisis versus the centralization of food management structures, examples, the Codex Illuminus UN Agenda, uh, look up the food codex, generally modified food controversies such as the resistance to correct labeling and nutrition requirements reductions compared to whole natural foods. And notice it's cheaper to buy junk food than it is to buy healthier food. That's done for a reason. It's to keep you sick. Misleading people using casual trendy, Masonic insider promotion, infiltration, bribing, threats, and association, assassinations. If the Catholic mis missions, the Jesuit miseducation, and socio political infiltration strategies do not work in a society, a convert and later overt war by proxy is achieved, created to achieve their neurotic goals. See also the social perversions point below. Using the many con contracts that have been signed with sovereign nations to give the Vatican Institution special privileges. Socialist, socialist fascist supranational union projects, see also the continental unions. The Central American Union, 1991, Central American Integration System. The European Union, 1993, Euro currency, EU institutions and EU products. The EU has its origins in the EU movement, 1947, which was found by the Knight of Malta, Joseph Retigner, who also founded the Bilderberg Group in 1954. The African Union, 2002, the Asian Union in 2003, the Asian Corporation Dialogue, Pacific Union proposed in 2013, South American Union proposed in 2004, signed in 2008, North American Union proposed the NACC 2006 is a largely secretive advisory to the SPP 2005 consisting of representatives from 30 North American corporations selected by the Chamber of Commerce in the three nations. The Mediterranean Union proposed in 2007. The Vatican City is a micro state is a member of the ITU telecommunication CEPT telecommunication, Eurosat satellite communication, Intelsat satellite communication, UPT international, more mail, and the International Games Council. The Holy See, the Vatican organization, participates as an observer in the African Union, the Arab League, Council of Europe, the OOS, 38 five states of America, IOM migration, and in the United Nations, 42, and its many agencies food and agriculture, labor, 
UNCTAD is trade and investment, UNEP is environment, UNESCO education is science and culture, UN habitat, human settlements, UNHCR is refugees, UNIDO is industry, UNWTO is tourism, WFP is food programs, WHO is health cares, WIPO is patents, copyrights and trademarks. In participants in the as a guest in NAM and a full member of IAEA Nuclear Energy and Chemical Weapons and International Security 3500 plus staff. Other UN agencies are ECO SOG Economy, UN FPA is Population and Reproduction, UNODC Drugs Control, UNDPI is Public Information. In an executive order on March 7, 2007, President George Bush granted diplomatic immunity and privileges to the members of the Holy See Permanent Observer Mission in the United Nations to the United Nations. Diplomatic immunity ensures safe passage for diplomatics outside their home country. They are not subject to the lawsuits or prosecution under the laws of the host country. Gordon Brown has discussed the shake-up of a structure created in 1945 to reflect the world's new challenges and the power bases during his four-day trip to China and India. Last night, British sources revealed intense discussions on UN reform were underway and Mr Brown raised it whenever he met another world leader. Mr Brown will unveil a proposal for the UN to spend £100 million a year on setting up a rapid reaction force to stop failed states sliding back into chaos after a peace deal has been reached. Civilians as police, administrators, judge and lawyers would work alongside military peacekeepers. Fraud and corruption have been rampant at the UN multi-billion dollar procurement division for years. The world's body's own watchdog, the Office of Internal Oversight S Services, has documented some of the illegal activities and reports and revealed that nearly one third of procurement contracts involve waste, corruption and e other irregularities. Americans should be concerned because the United States annually gives the UN 5.3 billion US in taxpayer dollars. The funding continues even though the organization founded six decades ago to main international peace and security has failed miserably and is best known for its severe mismanagement and corruption. Social provisions, fascism, fascism ideology, Inquisitions, communism, labor, Zionism, Nazism, socialism, and centrally planned capitalism focus on fear, propaganda, conformity, surveillance, and rep repossession. Indigenous, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, sovereign culture got genocides, poverty, promotion, of, and middle class destruction, and the pedophile ring support. Controlling the Vatican institution and its wealth, financial revision, of chief management, policy, speech, projects, approval, ecology, promotions. Part of this work are delegated to the Oak Day organization. Controlling and working together with its even older and more secretive multi-layered papal military order called the Sovereign Military Order of Malta or the Knights of Malta, the Knights Hospitalities or SMOM for short, was founded in Jerusalem in 1080 to wage war and steal the benefit for the Holy Roman Empire. Today, the most influential group with the SMOM are the Order of the Garda and the Pilgrim Society. Popery and Heads of States. Here was the Black Pope's plan in synchronizing the worldwide overt and covert functions to work the Jesuits' orders evil ends on the Vatican counter reformation in restoring the papal Caesar as an absolute universal monarch of the world. Angela Merkel is Hitler's daughter, by the way, and Hitler was a Rothschild. Vladimir Putin is part of the one world system. This stuff with Ukraine at the moment is all a psyops. It's all part of the script. Knights of Malta are mainly involved in working for and with the black nobility, the Vatican and various papal and royal orders, especially the Jesuits who are ultimately in control of the Vatican and the military order of Malta. The SMOM are the most powerful controlling inner cause of the order of the Garda, which in turn is controlled by the Pilgrim Society. The Commonwealth of Nations headed by the Queen is made up of 53 nations spanning the globe, accounting for one-fifth of the landmass on Earth. 
and is a very high percentage of its strategic resources and population. Through nominally an alliance of independent state, the Commonwealth was itself founded in the late 19th century as a population of the British Empire. Global business operations. Central banks and their superstructure, the Bank of International Sediments, 1930, Switzerland, 55 central bank members. Example. Bank of England, 1694, Bank of France, 1716 to 1800, U.S. Federal Reserve, 1913, the Vatican Bank, Deutsche Bank, European Central Bank, U.S. Federal Reserve Ownership, Chase Manhattan Bank, U.N. Nathan Meyer Rothschilds and Son, Lazard Banking Brothers, Israel Moses Seif, Lehman Brothers, Con, now part of Lehman Brothers and Goldman Sachs. Little known but extremely powerful banker for international settlements spent the 1930s and 40s quietly laundering Nazis' ill-gotten gains under the cloak of neutrality. Banks examples. Citibank, Bank of America, Jesuit Control, Investment Banking, Real Estate Investments and Development Venture Capital, Hedge Farm Securities Tradings, Secret Banking and Offshore Banking, Insurance Companies, Global Control Funding Organizations, the Rockefeller Foundation 1913, founded by the Pilgrim Society and the Knights of Malta, J.D. Rockefeller Sr., along with his son, John D. Rockefeller Jr., Jr. and Sr., Principal Businesses and Philanthropic Advisor of Frederick T. Gates in New York State, 1913. Ford Foundation, 1936. International Monetary Fund, 1944. The World Bank in 1945. The World Bank came into formal existence on the 27th of December, 1945, following international ratification of the Bretton Woods Agreement, which emerged from the United Nations Monetary and Contro Financial Conference on the 1st of July to the 22nd of July, 1944. Technically, the World Bank is part of the United Nations system. World Bank Divisions, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, 1945. International Finance Corporation, 1956. International Development Association, 1960. International Center for Settlement and Investment Disputes, 1966. Multinational Investment Guarantee Agency, 1988. See also World Bank Institute, formerly named the Economic Development Institute, Independent Independent Evaluation Group, formerly called the Operations Evaluation Department, World Federalist Movement, 1947, Switzerland, brings together organisations and individuals which support the establishment of a global federal system of strengthened and democratised groups, institutions with plenty of constitutional power accountable to the citizens of the world, and a diversion of international authority among separate global agencies, has had special conservative status with the DNS. ECOSOC since 1970 and affiliated with the UN Department of Public Information, European Investment Bank, 1958, Luxembourg. Established under the 1958 Treaty of Rome to provide funding for capital investment further the U European Union policy objectives outside the Union, the EIB contributes to the European Development Cooperation Policy with an ever-growing annual leading portfolio of more than Euro 4.5 billion. The European Investment Bank is probably the largest public inf international financial institution, and unlike many others, it operates worldwide with a range of products. Yet it does so with clear environmental, social, de development procedures, or a safeguard policies in place. BB funding case. Note that also the BBC has Stonehorse Jesuit College trained director Mark Thompson. The United Nations Capital Development Fund, 1966, a part of the UN Development Program, 1965, Heritage Foundation, 1973, received support from nearly 100 major cooperations, including Chase Manhattan, Dow Chemical Company, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, GlaxoSmithKline, Mobile and Procter and & Gamble. The Asia Foundation, 1975, sources funding the organization have included the U.S. Agency for International Development, the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, the United Nations Development Program, Australia, Canada, Netherlands and the United Kingdom's annual appropriation from the U.S. Congress and contributions from private corporations and founded. United Nations Foundation, 1998, founded by the Knights of Malta, CNN, founded Ted Turner in 1998, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 2000, the largest transparency operating charitable foundation in the world is controlled by three trustees, Club of Rome member, Knights, Commodore and Order of the British Empire, Bill Gates, 
Bilderberg member, Kappa Alpha Theatre family member, Melinda Gates, and insurance billionaire Warren Buffle, Buffett. Several trilateral commissioners members work for the charity program. Information corporations, media, software, IT, electronics, telecom, entertainment, distractions, fear, propaganda, mind control, operations, international, informational rep reposition, perpetual copyrights, idea monopolies with patents, DRM, information flow control, surveillance networks, and social, social tracking. Military corporations, energy and mining corporations, petroleum, coal, metals, diamonds, water, transportation corporations, shipping, automotive, aviation, air long, railway, pharmaceutical corporations, food corporations. The Slava Global Seed Vault is a Jesuit Georgetown University alumni, European Commission and President Jose Manuel Barroso, around 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner, and when Thagi mayor of Kenya were among the dozens of guests who bundled up for the ceremony inside the bolt dug into the permafrost of the mountain. It has to be built to withstand an earthquake or a nuclear strike. The operation is funded by the Global Corp Diversity Trust which is founded by the UN Food and Agriculture Organization and by a Versa de International and a Rome based group and various other corporations. At the annual meetings of secret Bilderberg groups, founded by the Notes, Knights of Mo, Malta, Joseph Retina, geopolitically important business deals are made. Political and judicial meddling. The Order of Malta retains its calm sovereignty under international law. It has been granted permanent observer status at the United Nations. It issues its own passport, stamps, coins. The Order of the Malta has diplomatic relations with 100 com countries and its sovereignty is recognized by 105 states. Managing global structures, political structures, global financial structures, United Nations, formerly called League of Nations. The Order of Malta has permanent missions to the UN and these specialized agencies, the education, science, culture, world food, food program, agriculture, world health care, or world health, is Healthcare High Commissioner for Refugees, High Commissioner for Human Rights and Industrial Development. Permanent Court of Arbitration, 1899. The Carnegie Foundation, Foundation 1903, donated 1.5 million for the construction, management, and to maintain of the Peace Palace. The Peace Palace was built to house the Permanent Court of Arbitration and Library of International Law. From 1922 onwards, the building also housed a distinctly separate separate permanent court of international justice which later became the International Court of Justice in 1945. See also Andrew Carnegie, Pilgrim Society member and sometimes referred to as the second richest man in history. Carnegie Mellon University 1900, Carnegie Endowment for International Peace 1910 and the Walter Peace Prize awarded since 1931 by the Carnegie Foundation. International Court of Justice 1945 is the principal judicial body of the United Nations. See also the Hague Academy of International Law, the Social Fascist European Union with the 1947 Origins of European Movement, founded by Knight on Malta Joseph Reitner, who also founded the Bilderberg Group in 1954 and related institutes and projects. European Court of Human Rights 1950, World Trade Organization 1944, the Order of Malta is also a member of these organisations. The International Committee on the Committee of Red Cross, International Federation of the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Societies, International Committee for the Military Medicine, International Institute for Unification of Private Law, UNIDROIT, 1926 Rome, Council of Europe, 1949 Strasbourg and European Commission. See also European Council. Not one of us can read the minutes of a committee or permanent representations. The EU executive body comprised of unelective and mostly unknown national bureaucrats known as permanent representatives in contrast to the elected ones for God's sake. It pre-cooks 90% of Brussels legislations and prepares the agenda for the EU's highest and most secret planetary body, the European Council. Under the Lisbon Treaty on the European Council, it would become a formal institution with the power of appointing the Commission. It could be said that the two bodies, the European Commission and the European Council, hold the executive power of the Union. International Organization for Migration, Union Latina, Inter-American Development Bank, International Institute for Humanitarian Law. 
managing the global unified intelligence, including Echelon and specified secrets to defend and promote the Vatican to suit Masonic interests. This unified international intelligence community was built up during Rome's 30-year 30, 30 war from 1914 to 1945 and perfected during Rome's subsequent Cold War of 1945 to 1990. Military structures, NATO, UN troops, Blackwater, private military. Policy propaganda for the purposes of social, commercial and military control. Policy institutes think See also leading think tanks of the world. International poli policies, Chatham House Institute for Strategic Studies, Club of Rome, Trilateral Commissional, Special Institutional Policies, the Travistock Institute, the Aspen Institute, the Scientist Council, the Transatlantic Econ Economic Council, uh, National Policies, the Bookings Institute, Council on Foreign Relations, American Ent Enterprise Institute, the John Birch Society, the Cato Institute, and the Council for National Policy. Create, creating begins charity fonts, just like the Catholic Church and Jesuits like to do, to try and confuse people about their fa fas fascinistic history and their present operations. Sometimes these seem harmless charity organizations are also used for information gathering and espionage in foreign countries. Example, Rotary International, 1905. Over 32,000 clubs in 200 countries see also their support for the UN globalist agenda. The Rotarians are a bit like Boy Scouts, grown up, old and successful. The celebrated writer ignored no doubt to what extent he was correct, or at least regarding the common origin of the group. Father Espoto actually recalled Rotary's Masonic spirit with these enlightened words. The existing report between this organization and Masonic masonry is essential, not only because of its founding on 23rd of February 1905 by lawyer P. Paul P. Harris of Chicago, along with three of his fellow masons, but also because of the ideological and judicial elements borrowed from the masonry, which take the best in the initiatory message in order to insert it into society and lessonize it. That is, by excluding the initiatory and respective aspects by which, by always excluding religious confessionalism, have contained sacred through lay character. Maltese International, founded in 1953 as a Maltese Germany, re renamed in 2005, operating in 30 countries in Africa, Asia, Europe and the Americas. Catholicism and the Holy Roman Empire. When the militaristic Roman Empire was collapsing, Pope Simerius created the Vatican Palace in 514 as a seat of the universal religion called Catholicism. Catholicism itself was created about 150 years before that by Emperor Constantine I, using the First Council of Nicaea in 325 to control the political and spiritual uprisings among the various regions, tribes and slave groups, thereby making Constantine I and a long series of Roman emperors or popes who expectedly wanted to completely rule over both the spiritual and political realm, perhaps indicative of lack of interest in the First Council of Nicaea on the Roman agenda was that of 1800 invites sent to religious leaders only 300 about 300 participated. Early like, Christian-like cultures were spreading and posing a very large threat to the Roman Empire, so the Roman institutionalization of various Christian-like cultures into the new universal religion named Catholicism. Many people still see the papacy as the only a religious organization, but if one looks into the never-ending quest for political power, you'll see that the Roman Empire and the papacy have always had the exact same goal, world domination. Their differences are only in the execution of the neurotic idea. The most powerful tool of the Vatican organization is to be being to take hostage the much older Jesuit duatic Christian like cultures and force these cultures into a superficial look alike called Catholicism, or as Roman Catholics like to say, Christendom. In many parts of the world, native people were first massively killed if their spiritual leaders could not be corrupted, and then the rest of the tribe were slowly converted into the cult of Catholicism by missionaries, using the lie that the supreme spirit they worshipped was actually the same one of the Roman Vatican Church. The Vatican ne never was a true Christian culture-based organization. It has always been a cult, the historical, hidden, bloodthirsty political organization which has been deceiving, hypocritical front of religious dogma, the historical, historic or visible, derived 
from ancient mysticism religion. Some worship human and animal sacrifices, holy priests and strict obedience structures. For more than 2,000 years, all authentic Judaic Christian-like cultures have been persecuted, often annihilated, or at least severely weakened. And the Vatican is set up like a key. By 431, the Council of Sh Shalion, the Holy Roman Empire itself, have already fractured somewhat of the official East-West Shiism in 1054. The Orthodox Church split from the Holy, Holy Roman Empire. However, the Holy Roman Empire was coming more and more dominant in Europe and reached its power peak in the 13th and 14th century. After the Renaissance, the struggle of religious and political freedoms of the various Reformation movements during the late Middle Ages and up to the 18th century, some lost terrain by regained by the Protestant nations, but the losses have been enormous and much more authentic spiritual-based Christianity-like cultures have been erased from the collective memory. Almost none of the numerous Christian splinter churches today acknowledge, let alone communicates, this ancient leg legacy from Roman Catholic persecution. History falsification and spiritual perversion, sadly, most of the so-called Christian churches today, however, are still connected to Catholicism and thereby also the Vatican organization in various ways or have been infiltrated and co-opted mainly by the Jesuits in many cases. The Vatican institutes and its mafia network have always been a fascistic, fascist political organization with the cover of religious organization. The aim is and was population control in a spiritual and political realm realm by any means. These two realms of dominion, the spiritual and temporal, are represented by two cross keys on the papal tiara, which can be seen in many Catholic churches and on the flag of the Vatican. The Reformation and Vatican Control The Reformation changes since the early 16th century by the Protestants, who are, is actually what the Vatican calls these sovereign heretics to the political systems, such more as the decentralized ruling and tax income less centralised from Rome, and the millennium of battles against the oppressive Holy Roman Empire that was, went before it, sets along the stage of an ongoing struggle by people all over the world to, to be able to live according to our natural birthright, sovereignty of the body and spirit to of each individual, protecting our sovereignty from state, religious, corporate or secret society, fascism is our principal collective responsibility. This shared value should be the basis for our constitutional law. All other constitutional laws should be derived from this basis. The true history of the Reformation and the opposing counter-reformation, starting with the Numical Council of Trent in 1545, however was and still is, not a simple two-sided conflict between the Holy Roman Empire and the sovereign people and their nations. There is growing evidence showing that the Lutheran Reformation movement was secretly used by the Rosicrucians and later the Jesuits behind the scenes to restrict the social political effects of the Ro Reformation on societies in Europe, diminish the established power structure of the papacy so that the secret societies could infiltrate and over time completely take over the Vatican institution, partly from the inside and partly from the outside. They succeeded in doing this, but not without visible histo historic friction. Globalism. Especially over the last 200 years, in particular the last 100 years, the power of the Vatican Masonic Network has covertly been increased tremendously due to several factors. The social techno policies, institutionalization and later service economy, urbanization, educational re regulation, increased propaganda propagation and large-scale industry proxy warfare, especially since World War I during 1914 and 1918 political and res religious organization. The major goals of globalization are underlying collective ideologies. Centralized socialism, communism, fascism were to diminish personal wealth, personal tribal national self-reliance capabilities, weaken the family bonds, replace native culture, increase their economic parasite grip through numerous pan-national organizations and their pro projects. Alongside the theatre of warfare and their media psyops, globalisation is the core part of the new counter-reformization. Occultism. The Roman Vatican Masonic oppression culture has its origins in the much older secret societies which were called the mystery religions, mystery schools, priesthood cults or schools for the divine sciences of governing, which were already present in ancient society, Egyptian, Sumerian, Babylonian, Sidon, Phoenician, Canaanite, Eutrasian, Roman, Anglo-Celtic, other priesthood cults. Rose Crucis, that's probably where the Rose Crucians come from, and Belos, Roshina, and Bavarian Illuminati, 
and 80. Sun worship and astrology, cosmology and the links to spiritualism were extremely important priesthood element of these societies and many others around the world too to this day. Since it was believed that the cosmic cycles were heavily influencing life on Earth, not just in the physical spectrum, in a traditional science sense, but also on a spiritual co conscious spectrum. Additional important priesthood elements were human sexuality, human concepts of nature, perceived dualities, female, male, life, death, heaven, healthy, sick, body, spirit, light, dark, white, black, energy, mass, above, below, in, out, love, hate, good, evil, sacred geometry, numerology, various arts, music, trance states. Some neurotic priesthood societies made an animal sacrifices and even a few human sacrifices to their god. For oppressive priesthood societies, the knowledge, control of knowledge and thereby sovereignty, consciousness and spirituality became their most important goal. These people wanted dominion over life, domination over life, even though they had no real life of their own. All of this is occult symbolism is still visible today in architecture, Masonic buildings, ancient and new monuments, place names, corporate logos, money designs, coat of arms, firms, Films, especially those from holidays, holidays and cultural rituals, various public accessible cult religions, Freemason fraternities, scouting, New Age societies. Here are some of the Western rituals and festivals with the cult hidden meaning, many of which are strongly influenced by the ancient Roman and Roman Catholic priesthood culture. Christmas, December 24 to 25th, winter solstice return or the return of the sun, son of God. Valentine's Day is ancient Roman and likely pre-Roman Lupercalia celebration. Note, lupus is Latin for wolf. Lupe means she-wolves. The first ancient Roman priesthood fertility ritual, which was later turned into the Roman, Saint Cath Roman Catholic St. Valentine's celebration. February occurred later on in the ancient Roman calendar than it does today, so Lupercalia was held in the spring as regard to a festival of purification and fertility. Each year on February 15, the Lupere priests gathered on Plantain Hill at the cave of Lupercale. Two naked young men, assisted by the Vestals, the virgin holy female priest of the Vesta, sacrificed a dog and a goat at the site. The blood was smeared on the forehead of the young man and then wiped away with wool dipped in milk. Roman armies took the Lopria customs with them as they invaded France and Britain. One of these was a lottery where names of available maidens were placed in a box and drawn out by the young man. Each man accepted the girl whose name he drew out as his love for the duration of the festival or sometimes longer. As Catholicism began to slowly and systematically dismantle the pagan pantheons, it frequently replaced the festivals of the pagan gods with more innumerable celebrations. It was easier to convert the local population if they could continue to celebrate on the same days. They would just be instructed to celebrate different people and ideologies. Lupercalia was a lovely lover lottery and had no place in the new Christian order. In the year 496 AD, Pope Galatius I did away with the festival of Lupercalia, citing it was pagan and immoral. He chose Valentine as the patron saint of lovers who would be honoured at the new festival on the 14th of every February. The festival began with a sacrifice by Lupre or the flame and Dallas of two male goats and a dog. Next two patrician young Lupre were led to the altar to be anointed on their foreheads with sacrificial blood which was wiped off the bloody knife with wool soaked in milk after which they were expected to smile and laugh smearing of the forehead the bloody probably refers to human sacrifice originally practiced at the festival the sacrificial feast followed at which the lupari cut throngs from the skins of their victims which are called fibia dressed themselves in the skins of the sacrificed ghosts in intimidation of Lucas and ran around the walls of the old Palatine city in the line which was marked with stones with the thongs on their hands in the band striking the people who crowded near. Girls and young women would line up on their route to receive lashes from these whips. This was supposed to ensure fidelity, prevent sterility in women and ease the pains of childbirth. This tradition itself may survive Christian and shifted into spring in certain ritual Easter Monday whippings. 
carnival immediately before Lent, the 40 days of Catholic liturgical season of fasting and prayer before Easter, usually during February or March. It may last from a few weeks to several months, depending on the region. Easter, calculated Sunday between March 22nd and April 25th, the spring equinox celebration, the re resurrection of the sun of God, the celebration of the Babylonian goddess of love and fertility, Eshtar, see also Semitic goddess Eshtar, Aztec, combined with the cosmic egg and rabbit symbolism for fertil fertility and regeneration, see also rebirth and regeneration, the origins of Easter traditions, pagan worship of Easter, origins of Easter, the Ostrana festival, Passover, Siena, Santa, Easter controversy towards a common date of Easter. May Day 1, 1st of May, is a phallic May Day Maypole celebration. See also Celtic, Bentine and Sherm um, celebrations. Axis Monday on 1st. The International Work Day. Workers' Day is a result of a traditional culture suppression in an industrial political influence. Halloween, October 31. Bullfighting, the slaying of the bull, Taurus, by Merthyrus, Roman deity, with pre-Roman origins, who was born from a cosmic egg and a castration by a scorpion, Scorpio in Roman mythology. This sacrificial tradition represents the dominion of the elite over the Protestants' potentials of the common people. Televised sports events are one modern variant of this occupational tradition. The elite know many people want to align themselves with dominators, winners, not suppressed losers. They hypnotize people with sim symptoms of glorified male competition and dom dominion. A political, harmless, com comical venting system of boredom and anger of many people. pharmacratic institutions. Related to these priesthood cultures also continuous persecution of all natural herbal cultures and its practitioners. From numerous genocides in indigenous cultures around the world to attacks on natural health care in Europe and US, these people were often wrongly stigmatized and tortured and killed for being Gnostics, mystics, witches or quack quacks. These days pharmacratic inquisitions are still ongoing strong to the benefit of the global toxic medicine based pharmaceutical industry using weak medical schooling, medical license system, patent law, propaganda campaigns and important natural substance provisions. A highly controversial topic is the research which is showing that the ethogen stimulated spiritual experiences seem to lie at the centre of the main religions too through the course of hidden, sometimes even in plain sight, and only allowed for the select group of initiates. Most Christian people refuse to research and debate this topic because it shows how much the true history behind early Christian-like Gnostic schematic cultures has been suppressed and perverted into different forms of mythology, ideology and dogma. shows how much all main religions have strayed from the path of nature and prior imperatically spiritually honesty and freedom especially ethogen aware cultures are treated as a huge threat to the in many places dominating western belief systems political structures and egotistic materialistic mechanical thinking black nobility the Jesuits and SMOM Mafia network is supported by many of the wealthiest families in Europe and on US, often called the black nobility and the high level masons within certain elite societies. Examples are prominent, but not all, certainly not the most powerful Rothschild family, Knights of Malta, the Rocker family, Knights of Malta, who got started using Rothschild financing for American oil field exp expeditions. These three financial families, the Rothschilds, Morgans and the Rockefellers, all do the bidding of the Jesuits order because the Jesuits infiltration in these organizations. They do whatever is necessary to destroy constitutional liberty in America and to bring pe the Pope to world domination. As we look back over the 20th century, we see how successful the Jesuits have been. They have, been, they have continued to squander the wealth of America and continually attack great constitution and civil liberties. Daily, the power of the Pope in Vatican City increases. One day they will achieve total power again.
These wealthy families function as financial supporters, as proxies for the larger Jesuits and SMOM mafia banking corporations. The Papal War Against Other Religions In the case of the Masonic Jewish Rothschilds, besides their Vatican role, they and several other prominent Jews like the Knights of Malta, Henry Kissinger, left-wing gatekeeper Noam, Ch Noam Chomsky, Federal Reserve Bank celebrity Alan Greenspan, Homeland Insecurity Front Michael Chertoff have to perform a role of being a Masonic Jews, other Jesuit controlled political movement of social communist fascist ideology to try and incite hatred towards the Jews as them being the top controllers of global evil. This is a scam that which has sadly worked before. Due to the fact that there are Sabatoian apostate Masonic Jews helping with the Vatican to suit Masonic Mafia crimes, it is sometimes difficult for people to see for what it really is, a distraction, a shield, a proxy for the larger Vatican Mafia network. Jewish people have been systematically decimated and murdered for almost 2,000 years by the Holy Roman Empire, just like Christians, Arabs, Muslims and many other cultures and their regions. These days, after stage 911 PSYOPs trauma and stage follow-ups in Madrid and London by the secret services controlled terrorist groups such as CIA, Quaida, Shia Muslims and other Arabs, uh, especially targeted in many ways by the media, pol politics and the Jesuits SMOM controlled military apparatus. The so-called war on terror, this war on terror is the main follow-up to the Cold War hoax to allow further crusades for world dom dom domination and further attacks on constitutional protected freedoms. The aggression against the people in the Middle East is very old battle is waged by the Romans and later the Holy Roman Empire. The Jesuit and the SMOM agenda. The Vatican, the Jesuit order, the Knights of Malta and the black nobility people have formed a complex Masonic mafia network of global precautions using the many front organizations, infiltrated government, churches, education, secret services, Catholic institutions, mega corporations, financial institutions, Freemasonries, labor Zionism and others with disastrous effects on the lives of hundreds of millions of people. The neurotic goal was and is still worldwide human enslavement by any means. The end justifies the means is the primary maximums of the Jesuits. Through militaristic and technological, economic and above all religious psychological means, their secretive mafia network tries to keep people ignorant in the facetic corpor conspiracy and instruments they use, abusing other people's ignorance as their only real power. The Vatican Jesuit Masonic Mafia Network has been the primary origin of the high crimes over the past centuries. Wars, genocide, assassinations, organized torture and sexual abuse, slavery, religious persecution, state treason, censorship, history, falsification, and judicial and economic fraud. These criminal practices are hidden behind secret and religious cults with hierarchical degrees, comp compartmentalization within, and secret oaths and plans, compartmentalization without. Socialist read, corrupt, centralist, fasc fascist institutions, UN, World Trade Organization, NATO, EU, etc. Information and knowledge control, cultural entertainment distractions, media censorship, fear, propaganda, and poor education, organization infiltration, monetary system corruption instruments, centrally controlled fiat cur currency money supply, artificial inflation creation creation, raising prices and poverty, debt dependency creation, more centralist social control, interest rates control, making money from debt and the international banking rules and international lending currency exchange programs, making governments depend on loan investment programs, more debt, more interest, more social control, etc. Money laundering, stock market, bonds and other financial products, corporate asset shuffling, real estate, art, software fees, social funds, thefts, pension funds, tax fund, redirection, political, judicial, corporate bribing, threats, blackmail and association, immigration stimulation, legal and illegal to achieve social and political changes such as increasing poverty and more stronger class diversions and increasing Roman Catholic population shares. No smokescreen of religious claims. 
numerical projects, charity work, school programs, media control, finger pointing and history falsification can undo crimes for which these people are responsible. No other organized crime network has done so much damage to the people on this planet. From its origins as a flattering materialistic Roman Empire, just when Catholicism was created to stop the so-called heretic churches and its people, which destroyed a lot of European culture diversity, to the murdering crusades against the Jews, Christians, Muslims and Germanic, Celtic, Scandinavian and other indigenous tribes, to the Satanic Inquisitions, to the massacre and enslavement of indigenous people in Europe, South of America, North America, Asia, Oceania, Africa, Russia and Middle East, to the global drugs, arms and human slave trafficking, to the corrupt banking system and international corporations, to the world wars, the Cold War hoax and a large-scale military and political effects, to global pedophile rings, to synthesized terrorism and propaganda, to secret rendings, torture, torture prisons and suspension of habeas corpus, to the ongoing plot to destroy the sovereign United States of America and the nations in Europe. It can all be traced back to a conspiratorial plot to rule the sovereign of the world by any means. It's going to take the awareness of a large group of people to stop this sick and sad group of people who ultimately can't love themselves nor others, knowing what they've done. What can we do? go from here? Where do we go from here? We have the power of love overcomes the, power, the love of power, the world we know, peace. Jimi Hendrix this secret society mafia network and their crimes have been persecuted in the past. The Vatican Jesuits as a criminal organization have been persecuted and expelled from dozens of nations all over the world at some point in time when their crimes became too much to tolerate any longer. That time is going to come again and this time it must be even more comprehensible and persistent than it was before. Our collective awareness and inaction must make many other people aware of the enormous con crimes committed and the way that which they were committed. Black nobility, the Catholic Church hierarchy, the Jesuits, the military order of Malta members, high level Freemasonry and all other secret societies on their front organization and projects which ultimately serve these mafia structures must be permanently exposed, prosecuted, stigmatized and ultimately dismantled and if needed to be replaced with a decentralized, constitutional, accountable, democratic corporation between nations, not above nations, for the benefit of future generations. Special constitutional reforms against secret societies and their political conspiracies should be discussed, drafted, implemented and education, educated. And in the end, empires always fall. And some fa fascinistic groups will try to build them again to try and gain control of the common people and it will fail again. Politics by distance does not work. It corrupts, it still, fight, still stifles creativity, it tries to disempower sovereign human beings. So the EU, EU super state project will be ultimately break down. The only question is at what cost. The euro is certainly an effective way to ease trade between nations by reducing currency and legal fraction, friction. However, the private pseudo non profit Federal Reserve Banking history has shown that money centralization can be very dangerous in several aspects. Centrally controlled money supply and infiltration, artificial boom bust cycles, dr draconian rescue plans after the bust cycles, and increased poverty due to long term ineffectiveness of a central monetary system. The monetary system does not equal economic stability and financial sovereignty. The later two are much more important in the long term. Some conceptual recommendations. The super state projects such as the EU, NATO and the UN must be partly dismantled then reformed by primarily using co collaborative agreement between each sovereign nation. The danger of a too centralized corrupt rule is far too more serious than any local form of mafia corruption. The Holy See, Vatican, country, country, state and sovereign military order of Malta must be stripped of any national sovereign status. These institutions must function with a national democracy and obey dramatically chosen constitutional laws. The Vatican and the whole Roman Catholic organizational network must publicly and officially denounce any temporal power wish and acknowledge the extreme extent of their centuries-long crimes against humanity. 
The Jesuit Vatican Masonic Mafia Network who have participated in these crimes must be researched thoroughly by an international group of independent researchers, then prosecuted and agree to pay compensation to victims, nations, groups and individuals. These criminal charges and the evidence must then be presented to the respective nations for further actions. No action on behalf of this research should lead to boycotts from nation groups and individuals. All the confirmed history, falsification and conspiracy actions should be written down and discussed in schools. The same goes for clear examples of media cooperation, censorship and distraction. Proposals for act actions for a more robust separation of church and secret societies from the sovereign people of the state using legal, political and educational means. Special legislation against criminal secret societies beyond any reasonable doubt and beyond just organised crime should be drafted and implemented using lesson of history. I hope you find that as interesting as I did. Thanks for watching.